Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. This will be part two of the selling of the crops. No, not all the crops, just the, whoops, just our corn harvest. Because we have so much of it and there's a great demand. And you can see when we wait for the great demands, it really pays off. We're not even halfway done and we're already up to nearly half a million dollars. I'm hoping, here just to prove it to you, by the way the weather looks like that. Um, so 26, oh darn it, stats, boom, sorry trying to do this and drive, there we go, you can see we have 240, we started out with 405, so yeah, doing pretty good, we've gained about 420,000 so far, so right around half a million is each, or is each half, so I'm looking to get a whole million dollars. We've done one, two, three trips. This will be our fourth trip and we'll be halfway done. So we're gonna need about equivalent to the same thing we had last episode. I might make this episode a little bit longer for you guys. Mainly to make up for the, the what? what? What am I gonna make up for? Uh, the time that I uh, had off there because of school like last week depending upon when I upload this video oh and I think I will get a new schedule probably will have a new like video Monday Wednesday and Friday that's probably the plan and then if I can get more in then I will if I can't then I won't that way I just don't feel overwhelmed with school and this so that's probably going to be the new schedule Again, most of these are pre-recorded, so not to be alarmed. And again, I do want to buy bailing technology and work on that, but before I do that, I want to take advantage of this great demand and sell all the corn that we can possibly sell. And I could, I could buy a bigger trailer, but one, that would take out of our profits, and then two, what would we do with these old trailers? You know, I already kind of went over this, and that we'd have to sell these amazing looking trailers, and that is just not acceptable. I mean, do we kick all the good grade people out of school? No. Do we kick all the bad grade people out of school? No. We let them either succeed in the end or drop out. So, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? Build... I don't, I don't know what kind of song I'm singing. Uh, that's why I'm not a singer or a songwriter. True story. Oh, thank goodness we can drive through concrete. Oh, what a relief. Makes my job a little bit easier. What, don't you wish you could drive through concrete? I, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Don't even start. You know you do. Why don't we get some fresh air? Come on. There we go. Ah. <sighs> well, why are we zoom? Oh, there we go. We're kind of zoomed in. Vroom. There we go. Hey there, class trailer. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thank you for asking. I mean, I will be rich here very soon. Boom. Nearly five and a half million. No, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, wow, that could have crushed me if I didn't get out of there in time. Ooh, wow, that was close. Alright, we can go ahead and reset him and him and him and you. Okay, tap through all these guys. You are nice and working. And I will be buying another one of these for the cows up at the cow farm because they have been neglected and their tractor was sold by accident during the whole, you know, forage confusion, which was completely my fault. I accept the responsibilities, although it may or may not have been <clears throat> inability to inform me. No, just kidding. No, it was my fault. I didn't test it, so. But besides that, of course, these tractors are a little bit cheaper, actually, so it'll we'll probably still have to pay a little bit more because when we sold it, we didn't get what we paid for it. But we won't have to pay as much. Besides, these tractors are so much better. They can't haul that much weight, though, unfortunately. But, man, they, they look good, and they're worth it. We will probably have to get a more powerful tractor 
coming up and probably a bigger trailer unfortunately to uh I don't know I don't even know what for I don't know what I'm talking about I think we're just going to uh, continue on building this road train if we need more room which we probably will because I think we're gonna buy more fields and I think the fields that we're gonna buy are going to be fields 20 and 21 and probably field 7 if we get the forage harvester oh and by the way field 8 has been sold for 31,000 um, figured I should let you know that because field 8 was on sale or was up for auction but I I don't know who else bid on it there aren't any other farmers here and that really doesn't change the price for us it's still gonna cost the same as it was it's if we really those only are good if we need them like right then and then right then and there <laughs> so oh and you can see I got the ES limiter mod I think I've had that for three episodes or so so yeah it just shows us what's going on just gonna let our straw sit out and do what it does if we do get the forage harvester then we'd have to plant corn to take full advantage of it depending no I think I need to test a few things because there's forage like uh, wagons um, which if we hook up if we hook up just an ordinary like forage trailer to the kid then it'll turn it into stuff that we can use at the biogas plant but if we just pick up the straw right now, straw will not be accepted at the biogas plant. I know that from uh, Dare Tebers' Let's Plays. And, and, there, there might be a forage trailer that'll work. I'll have to do some testing before we buy. And now that I'm looking at it, we might not have time to buy this episode. But man, what if I made that buying part a whole episode on its own that would be something that would be the episode to see million dollar shopping spree Ooh. that would be amazing oh but if we saved up just a little bit more we could buy a windmill that would probably be a better investment aren't solar panels like half a million dollars oh but I really want we're farmers we're not wind people what, what am I caring about that I mean it is a better investment but it takes a while to pay off and I'd rather see the benefits now but then again it would be a better invest oh man so these are in, in legitly hard decisions have you ever had a legitly hard decision before no you haven't because you haven't played this game and had and have had a million dollars to buy well you may have had or you may have had an actual legit decision to make before you know like in real life where it actually matters although here it matters because this farming simulator 2013 it's not a game it's a lifestyle so yeah I mean it obviously matters this matters way more than real life just based on the fact that it's a lifestyle not a game a little bit like Call of Duty no a lot like Call of Duty but for the cool kids So once again we're gonna fill up with corn, do what we've been doing the past few you no know, the past episode and the past eight minutes and thirty-eight seconds about according to my timer. Of course when I edit it that'll probably be different. Heck yeah, we're only down to 149. Oh, and once we're done we'll probably sell whatever else we have a great demand for. Which I will check right now. Great demand for sugar beets at the port. We will sell our sugar beets there because we keep them in our farm, and I don't want them. Cause don't if we keep them too long, don't they kind of go bad? I think so. Whoop! Sorry. Pause. Open. All right. Let us continue. Got some fresh air blowing in here. Can't you just smell it? Just take a big whiff. Ah, <sighs> fresh air. Unless, you know, you stink. In which case, then, you know, probably not fresh air. But, you know, whatever makes a difference. You can pause this video and go find some fresh air and, you know, sniff it and then come back and then play the video. Up to you. Or you can just continue on with the video without fresh air. Or with the fresh air that, that you may have already had. Ah, uh, yeah. I really like this tractor. It looks nice. Good morning. Afternoon. No morning, morning. It's morning. You know what I don't get? 
If morning is from like 6 to noon, why is afternoon only from like noon to 5? Because it seems like at 5 o'clock everyone starts to say good evening. And then night is from like 8 to midnight. No, to 6. It, re it really seems like that. Unless you're purposely trying to make a joke and say good morning at that late of an hour. See? That late of an hour. Boom! No, that's actually a really early hour. Thank you very much. I'm just an overachiever. I like to wake up early. You know, stay up late so I can wake up earlier. Uh, Q. There we go. Almost forgot the button to unload. Ah, man. Brain really likes to go off on tangents. Alright, can we hit three quarters of a mil this load well not this load but I mean like this round like these two trailer fulls we're at 712 ooh I think it's gonna be close I think it's gonna be like 740 that's what I'm guessing <coughs> wow look at all that corn that is amazing we're just dumping it onto the street sweep 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 Whoa! Oh wow, almost crushed our head. Sweet, we're at more than seven, more than seven, no, more than three quarters of a mil. That is what I'm trying to say. Why can I not speak? No spreck in the language. I don't speak at all. It's not a specific language. I can't speak. If it was another language, oh my goodness, I'd hate to see how bad I'm speaking. But yes, I do speak English. No sprach in the Deutsch. No sprach in the French. No sprach in the... Um... Uh... What else do I not sprach in? I know sprach in the... What's another language? Uh... Japanese. No sprach in the Chinese. Um... A little... Whoop go okay come on come on there we go all right I spreck in the little bit of Spanish or Espanol French Perry Perry is how you say no I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna claim stuff that I don't know I was gonna say Perry is how you say Paris in French but I'm really, glad I don't know I don't know hey right, let's see how much uh, stuff we got Ooh, wool is full that's no good yeah, we better get that taken care of. It looks like we're down to merely, what, three loads left? I'm going to take care of the wool after the great demands, though. Great demands come far more often. Frankly, wool probably isn't going to earn us as much as this. So if we carry 40 each, we're looking at another two. Wow, barely three loads. Just barely. That last load will be next to not worth it. Actually, you know what I'll think we'll do? I think in the front trailer, we'll load up the very last of the corn. Then in the back trailer, we'll load up all of our sugar beets. And then, you know, we can go and sell them. We'll start by dropping off the corn over at the... Uh-oh. Speedster. Speedster. Oh, wow, you're cool. A tractor's going faster than you in your fast car. Yeah! What you gonna do, bud? I just beat ya. Vroom, vroom. As I'm not staying on the road. Okay. So you can see that top little pink lever thing. It's towards the top. That means I'm going fast. Because there's no speedometer in here now. That oh, wait. Maybe it's that is it. It's digital. I'm going 0, 0.0. No. I'm going 19 miles an hour. But, anyways. What was I speaking of? I was talking about something. You guys probably remember. I don't. I don't. Um. Vroom. We're monster tractors. I would say monster trucks, but these aren't trucks. Yeah, that's right. So we'll drop off the corn here. And then we'll drive. We'll turn around and we'll just drive straight to the port. Then I think from there we'll drive back, stopping at the egg place so we can drop off our eggs wait no I need to leave that on 
ha ha ha. Come on, can we get in here? <gasps> Am I in? Come on. <gasps> oh my goodness, we're in. We're in the trailer. Look at that. No, what am I standing on? I'm, I'm gonna be hovering here in a second. Uh oh, this is scary. <laughs> Let's get in here. Is that all? Alright, next trailer. Looking good. This is actually a really pretty thumbnail. If only I was better at like making them and stuff for like each episode. And I think I might do that for Farming Simulator 2014. I think that's what I'll do. Oh man, I don't think we'll we'll be so close to a million dollars, but I don't think we'll make it. Oh, that's disappointing. Continue to add. I am faced with a really hard decision though. Should we buy the forge harvester? But you know, have to plant corn and stuff to use it in the biogas. Or should we get the kid in a large forage trailer? And, you know, that way we can use straw on it. Or, wait, yeah, that's all we can use for it. It's straw and grass. Or, do we just get a forage trailer? Uh, wait, hold on. I gotta stop talking real quick. Gotta back this up. Okay, now that I got that backed up and concentration is now done, this will be our second to last load of corn, and our next load will be sugar beets and corn, so that'll be good. But anyways, do I buy just a forage trailer that can pick up straw and turn it into the, the, the silage stuff? Oh man, I don't know. Oh. If there's a trailer that can turn it into silage on its own, then I'm not going to get the kid. But if there's not, then, oh my goodness, I will need to be doing some testing on this. I shall probably do that tomorrow and come back with the information. Alright, this is it. We will probably make it to right around $950,000, because that's the way we roll million dollars. Ooh, you're so close, you farmer person. No. You're done. You're done. We don't do that. Do we do that? No. Do we do that? No. No, we don't do that. We don't earn a million dollars on one harvest. We just don't do that. But we will. That's right. Watch the train. Watch the train. Wait, our window's not open. Oh, well. No fresh air. We'll just suffocate in this pressurized thing. I don't think it is pressurized. But man, the textures look good. Look at that. We even got a Pepsi in the holster. We got our little bouncy chair. Where are we going? Okay. Yep. All right. Back. Looking on the road. Oh, man. Uh, place your bets now. Figuring out how much we are going to have now. Looks like someone took a mower to this, or a cultivator, and it was not me. I did not cultivate this right before we left. No, I'm serious. It wasn't me. That did sound kind of sarcastic, but yeah, it wasn't me. As much as I wish I would have not. I'm not going to waste my time on that. We could try and just drive back. It might almost be quicker. Come on. You kidding. Come on. The caboose is waiting because the caboose drives the train. See, look at that. It's a caboose. Why are you driving? You're... No. Yeah, you're a locomotive. Yes, you are. 900. This will have to be over 90,000. 80,000. Oh, we might do it. That has to be over 79,000. That trailer right there has to be over 79,000. Not including our other trailer that we have. That will be a 5,000 corn. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 950, 60, 70. Oh, please be worth a lot. Little five, nearly 6,000 corn. You have to hit us over that million mark. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're okay. We got this. 
I'm not gonna end the episode here. That would be very rude to stop you guys from getting in on this information. Now I could set the front things down on my own, but why would I do that? That's just a waste of time. It can hook up on its own. Come on, come on, come on. I want to figure out what... Ha, come on, we have to make a million dollars. We are going to hit that million dollar mark without taking out another loan. And the first thing we're going to do is pay off the loan, so that'll be a decent amount. I think. If I'm right. I think it's 200000 And then another 400000 for the forage harvester. I think we're going to go ahead and go with that. But we could live off the straw from the wheat or the barley. Wheat and barley, because they both have straw for if if there is indeed a forage wagon that uh whatever you call it, the that chops the straw into Wait. No, wait, that's right. We still have to do another load. Yes, we will make it. We will make it. We still have this load to do of 40,000 before. Yes, we will make the 100,000 harvest. I would make a song, but I don't know how to do that, so. Otherwise, I would have made a song in order to do this. I am taking, like, Photoshop. Or I'm teaching myself quite a bit of stuff in Photoshop. So that's good. That's where I came up with that new logo thingy idea. I plan on continuing to uh, change the channel as we go and proceed further. So of course your guys' dedication and loyalty with this channel will not be disregarded. You guys will not only get the fantastic content, if I say so myself, of the videos, but also the uh, recognition of seeing ch our channel go through history. You know, I just realized, you know, whenever we drive on stuff, it cuts it. So a lot of this grass is being cut when we drive on it. So we're making trails. That's pretty sweet. Although we're not actually making trails in the grass. But it, we're cutting the grass as we drive through. We're not getting the remains because, you know, you don't do that whenever you drive on grass. But see, look at, see how we're destroying it? We destroyed like a little part of it right there. Whoa! That was like Matrix. So yeah, I think I'm going to make this a little bit longer for you guys. I am making my defined video length of 20 minutes. But I think I'll make this a little bit longer because this is a pretty historic event. Here we go. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Oh, got to look at the corn. Oh, boom. More than a million dollars. That's it right there, folks. Gals, gentlemen, as PSY would call you. Oh, man. Their new song is quite a um, thing. Yes, it is. It's quite a thing. Look at that. It's so new and so... Well, the thing is a little bit rusty, but the hydraulics are new and... Come on, come on. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. Sweet. We're almost up to 1.1. We will not. Darn it. We need 1.5. 4 million for a uh, windmill, so we're not going to be getting a windmill. But, this will be our last trip to the selling areas this episode, because we will be selling the sugar beets and the last amount of corn this episode, which is great to hear. But we made over a million dollars. We're millionaires. We could retire right now and call ourselves millionaires. We retired millionaires. Of course, we can sell all of our assets and be multi-millionaires. Because this farm is worth quite a lot. There's a lot of money in these assets. Because we almost had a million dollars before with our uh, great demand of canola. That almost gave us a million dollars. And of course, we still have a ton of grain in our silos. Like, if there was another great demand, like, let's say on... Um... No, that's right, stats. Let's say there was a great demand on, I don't know, wheat or barley. Boom! Rich. Of course, not as rich as this, though, because this gave us a ton. Alright, so potatoes are on the first stall. Sugar beets are in the second. So we need to line up the second trailer with the second stall after I get rid of 
that. There we go, round the potatoes. There we go. Load us up. Look at that, we got corn and sugar beets. The joys of having two different trailers. <sighs> We're gonna take in all these sugar beets. I suppose I should be checking, but the minute it stops, because we can fit 20,000 in the back trailer, and I, there shouldn't be more than that. I think there's 16 or 17. Yeah, there we go. That's all of them. See, it's not at the top, and I can tell you it's all of them because... You ready for this? Boom. I'm a genius. Ba -na 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 -na. See, at the very bottom of the page, right above eggs carrying 28. And then we'll just drive this back, stopping by the egg place. It's a little bit out of the way, but not too bad. And you can see all this is over here and ready to pick up. Of course, uh, let, oh, look at that dust trail. That is sweet. Look at that. It doesn't get any more realistic than that. You got the big dust trail and everything. That's amazing. So again, um, just let me know in the comments what you guys see. Look at that. We made a little trail for ourselves. See, we chopped down the grass. No, no, it's still daytime. In fact, it's been less than an hour in game. It's been about an hour in the past two episodes, real life. But so again, let me know what you guys want me to do. If you want me to buy a forage harvester, and let's assume that there is indeed a forage wagon that we can use to pick up straw and turn it into silage, because we might actually have to do both if we want to uh, plant corn and use that for the site for the what are we, for the biogas plant but then again we might not want to do that because I know we also want to bale we're obviously going to bale because you guys have been asking for me to do that for so long alright boom so there's the end of that sugar beets go to the port we'll go ahead and drive down to the port we're carrying a little bit of dead weight in the first trailer because there's nothing in it. But you know, that's not too bad. Why are we so tall? Why are we so tall? This actually isn't... This is actually right about where I would sit. Because I'm kind of a tall person if I say so myself. Due to the fact that no one owns this field, I think we can drive onto it without being illegal. And boom. See the tracks that we're creating? Wow. The time we don't create tracks. Okay. Okay, yeah. I just love that dust trail. Look at that. True farmers. In our case. And by the way, uh, coming September 2013, Farming Simulator will be coming to Xbox 360 and PS3. They will be including four new case harvesters. I am really looking forward to that. You can uh, check it out in at the official Farming, Simula Farming Simulator website. I will try and remember to put it in the description. If I don't, it's www.farming-simulator.com, all lowercase. And then you can check it out by... Um, it's in right in the bottom right-hand corner of their main picture, right as you log in. But, you guys can see, we have 1.1 million dollars. This was a million dollar harvest. And then the sugar beets just put us a little bit over the edge, thanks to the great demand. So, let's see what we have left. The weather looks like that, hasn't changed. Still have the great demand. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. Harvest income, 1.085 million. Our harvest earned us a ton of money. Money for a Klondike bar. Okay, let's see. Stats. We still have a ton of uh, wheat and barley, though. I think our next, what we're going to plant next will probably be canola. We kind of need to up the ante on that a little bit because we don't have any canola. We could invest in, let's say, sugar beets. That wouldn't be majorly expensive. Besides the harvester is 400,000, but if we're going to get the forage harvester... Alright, so let me just go over the options. So we have the forage harvester on one side. We could get that. You know, use our... Uh, you, we can sow corn and then, you know, forage it up for biogas. 
Uh, we could, what else could we do? We could buy the forage trailer. Let's assume that there is a trailer that allow you to pick up straw and forage it itself. So then you, we can dump it off at the biogas plant. Because I really want to invest in that. We're obviously going to buy bailing. So let's not do that. Or, I mean, we're going to do that. So that's not an option. I think, I think that's really all the money we have. We could invest more into cows. I think we're going to buy quite a few more chickens. I think we only have, what, 50 chickens? Speaking of chickens, let's go ahead and drop off the eggs we have real quick. It's only 28 eggs, but we might as well bring in all the income we can. Just turn down here. I think this next street we can also turn down. Alright, and then this next left. We'll do a little bit of a U-turn. Wow, without hitting anything. Yes. Check this out. Boom, pro farmers right here. As I almost run into a bench. Do I? No. Well, a little. I kind of drove through it. Boom. Not a, oh, hey there. Not a noticeable difference. Wait, can we just like drive past? No. You're going to stop me. There we go. <coughs> All right, we'll go back to the farm, and I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Of course, oh, wow. Hey there, car. Nice to meet you, too. Good morning. Get off of me. Get. Get. Thank you. You're done. Go. Wow, your car is unharmed. Well, so is my tractor, so there's no need for insurance in this farming world which is why we don't have you know there's not an option for that because well you know there's no need because you know the physics don't exist and damage doesn't exist that would be sweet if it did however though dirt does dirt exists damage yeah different story see I think they would have put in some sort of damage into this game before they put in washable equipment but I guess it was their decision to move on with the washable equipment and hold the damage off for a different time or never at all. I think they should probably put that towards, you know, next year. Oh, should probably fill up, but won't. We'll wait till some other time. So anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. And uh, tune in next time.